Hey everybody, welcome back to Disaster Communications. Today I'm really excited to unbox a new radio for you guys to look at. And probably one of my most favorite uh, radios that I carry every day. I reached out to BTAC and was presenting to them my idea about the, the three levels of communication. You have your entry level with the uh, FRS-1, like for people that doesn't, doesn't want to necessarily get in and learn radio or have to get licensed or anything. They're just, they just need something to talk around their block, you know. So I, I presented to them the FRS-1. And then for the next level, we was talking about an advanced level of communications. And that's where I presented the, the GMRS Pro that they have. And uh, we've already talked about those videos, and if you want to go back and revisit those, the link's right here for you. And uh, the third level I want to present to them was my expert level. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the radio that they sent me, and that is the BTEC DMR 6x2 Pro. This is a fully featured radio, and I, I believe, honestly, it's probably one of the most feature-packed radios that I've used in my 20, 30-some years of ham radio. It has a lot of functions that uh, can help you in before, during, after disasters. And, and not only that, but just even if you're trying to have a communication uh, group, that uh, a group that you're wanting to stay prepared with, for example, uh, this radio also will cover that for you. Or if you're just an avid uh, radio hobbyist, this radio has it. All right, let's get into the unboxing of this VTEC 6x2 DMR. I'm excited about this. Somebody pointed out to me on the boxes. I thought this was pretty cool, but it's got scriptures on the back John 316 and John 14.6, but uh, it's unusual. All right, so the label on it says uh, DMR 6x2 Pro by VTEC. Shows frequency of range of VHF UHF 136 to 174 megahertz. Looks like it'll do 7 watts there. 400 megahertz to 480 megahertz is 6 watts on UHF. And it shows the FCC type acceptance and all that. So anyways, let's jump into the box, see what uh, what's included with the radio. All right, first thing, got the manual, operating manual. Like most of us pros, we just set that over there and ignore it. Now the data cable, and that is, uh, looks like the standard Kenwood style plug, USB standard. That is how we're going to program the code plug into it. And that's also how you do any firmware updates. All right. This is one of the better features of this radio. That's that 3100 milliamp hour battery, lithium ion. Uh, man, it goes forever. And there it is. Here's the radio. Let's go ahead and pull off the cover. Bag on. These batteries just drop in from the bottom, push down. And here's your SMA female. This is the standard for a lot of the bail fang VTEC type radios. Yeah, let's see if it comes with charge. It does. That's something going on there. Booting up. There he is. Now right, let's see what else we get in the box. Comes with this. One of those uh, normal earpiece. So if you don't have any kind of earpiece, this is this is nice. One of the features I love about this radio is its Bluetooth capability. So I usually just set the the wired earpiece aside and I go straight with the Bluetooth. It does have a wrist strap. You can run it through this little hole right here above the battery terminal connector. And uh, I'm not much of a strap guy, so I usually leave that aside. And it does have the Bluetooth PTT button. Here's the little Velcro strap that goes through that. You can probably configure it for your finger if you want. You can put it around your wrist, 
different locations. Maybe you want to strap it onto your your uniform or whatever. You know, you're, you're, if you're carrying a you know a vest or something, you can put it on there. A lot of options. It's kind of nice though if you're if you have the radio down and you've got it mounted and you're just wanting to be able to key the PTT without having to reach down. But uh, that is an option. All right, what else we got? We do have the uh, the charger. This is a USB charger for that Bluetooth button. And uh, the thing I like, you don't have to free it. You don't have to tie up uh, your charger. It actually comes with two of them. So you could plug one in here and put this back on your other device. So let's set that aside for now. And I've always liked the big charging cradle on this. Uh, plenty of space. Nice, solid, feels good in solid construction. And that allows you just to drop that in there. You'll get a uh, red light here when it's charging, and then a green light when it's uh, done charging. And last but not least, the belt clip for the battery. So let's get that put on. I do like those. And pick the good data. Trim my fingernails. So it's a belt clip, two little screws. Let's throw all this in there. And we'll have to put on real quick. So this just sits down. What I like to do is go ahead and get one of the screws on the screwdriver. Get stuck to the hole. And then once I'm in the area, then you just kind of push down on it there. Push down on the back, right up here at the top a little bit. That flattens that out a little bit. And look at the other screw. Finger tight. And there you have it. So now we got the belt clip on. And I'll say this is the radio I've had for a long time. It's still. Uh, see, actually, it still feels like the same tension. And uh, actually, I'm going to check here. Tight. So, well built. Yeah, mine, you don't even hardly see any use. I know. See right here where I've charged it several times. You know, putting it in. Usually, what I'll do is I'll take the radio with me every day, carry it around, then throw it in the cradle at night. I know I've dropped it. I, I thought for sure I had some marks on it, but I can't even find where I've dropped it. But uh, there's a lot of features. It does have uh, GPS in it for precise uh, position tracking and Bluetooth. So this radio has a lot of features in it. It does have the uh, the AES-256 encryption and ARC-4 encryption to secure communications, uh, especially if you have a business where you could do a uh, business license. And it is legal for businesses to do encryption. So if you own a lawn mowing business or a sewing business or something, you need radio communications. I'm kidding, of course. But, uh, you know, maybe you do have some kind of business that you need radio communications. And uh, so you can get a business license and run encryption legally now. So this will take care of that. It does have the big memory in there for the uh, DMR functions, 4,000 channels, 10,000 talk groups, and you can even do 500,000 uh, contacts. So if, you, if you're into DMR and you want to connect it to like Brandmeister or something like that, you can do that. So it's going to take extra videos just to go over each detail. This was the unboxing video, and uh, I'm really excited about these new radios and some of the advanced features I'm going to get into especially for communications plans. I have, uh, I have an idea of how to use it and uh, use the uh, DMR functions where the two time slots. So in other words, if you're on uh, one frequency, you could have two sets of people talking at the same time on different time slots. So 
time slot one could be having a conversation on the same frequency as time slot two. So, so it works out pretty cool. A lot of advanced features, we'll get into those. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, follow along here as we get into these uh, radios in a deep dive in and uh, how they can help you and your family prepare, be ready for disasters, anything that may come your way to keep that communications going. Thank you guys.